hello friends now today we will continue for uh, we will continue for our uh, last lecture of qualitative carbohydrate test so first of all we start the phenyl hydrazine test for carbohydrate before doing the experiment we should know about which principle involved in this experiment in this test phenyl hydrazine react with monosaccharide and other carbohydrate containing free aldehydic or ketonic group to form free aldehydic or ketonic group that form hydrazone and osazone next is the here is reaction <coughs> this uh, in this reaction phenyl hydrazine involve only two carbon atom one is carbonyl uh, atom that is aldehydic or ketonic group and other is adjacent carbon atom to aldehydic or ketonic carbon one molecule of phenyl hydrazine react with one molecule of aldose to form a molecule of hydrazone with <coughs> hydrazone with second molecule of phenyl hydrazine this uh, the hydrazone is oxidized to form aldol hydrazone and the phenyl hydrazine itself is reduced to form um, reduced to aniline and ammonia finally a third molecule of uh, phenyl hydrazine react with aldol hydrazone and to produce osazone the osa zone of reducing sugars are crystalline yellowish orange color usually insoluble compound here uh, next is the material method there are two compounds that is required for this experiment phenyl hydrazine and sodium acetate uh, here is principle uh, sorry procedure for this test we take two part of phenyl hydrazine two part of phenyl hydrazine three part of sodium acetate or uh, we can take it uh, one is to one ratio mixed it uh, in pestle mortar so uh, now we uh, <coughs> we use pestle mortar for uh, mix uh, well uh, mix this uh, mixture after that now we take 300 mg of this mixture in the test tube and add 3 ml of sugar solution and uh, 2 ml of water to this um, uh, tube and shake well and heated on a boiling water bath for 30 minute allow to tube to cool uh, slowly in water bath and examine the crystalline crystal uh, in mic by microscopy analysis here is a observation observation uh, yellow yellowish orange crystal is formed in reducing monosaccharide uh, <coughs> Uh, here you can see, and all other sugars uh, do not give this color. Next uh, is a uh, next <coughs> objective for uh, our next experiment that is perform the Biles test for uh, carbohydrate solution. Okay, now principle. this test is useful in uh, determination of pentose sugars here uh, reaction is due to the formation of furfural in the acidic medium acidic medium uh, with uh, acidic medium which condenses with orsinol in presence of ferric ion to form a given uh, blue green color which is insoluble in butyl alcohol now uh, here is uh, i'm drawing the whole complete uh, reaction for this experiment i am making the structure of ribose this react with concentrated hcl concentrated hcl and remove three molecule of water that form furfural furfural this furfural react with orsinol 
or cinol that having two OH group and one methyl group. This furfural condense with uh, orsinol and give blue green condensation product. So this reaction uh, confirm that uh, the sugar is ribose or pentose sugar. Now come to the reagent. Uh, reagent is made up of orsinol which dissolve in S concentrated SCL and uh, other is 1% carbohydrate solution. 1% carbohydrate, 1 gram of carbohydrate dissolve in 100 ml of water now next is procedure 2 ml of uh, bile's reagent was taken in test tube sorry taken test tube and 4 to 5 drops of test solution that is ribose added in the test tube heated it boiling water bath and after some time there is appearance of blue green colored complex with ribose Whereas glucose, galactose give brownish color. In this observation table, we can see that the pentose sugar xylose give green color due to action of concentrated SCL or cinol formed in the dehydration product furfural, which react with orsinol to give Fe plus two, Fe plus two furfural complex. Fe plus 2 furfural complex. On the other hand, in hexose, sugars, glucose, fructose gives brownish yellow color after prolonged heating due to uh, Fe plus 2 furfural derivative complex. Another very common another very common test for all carbohydrate that is DNS test. DNS dinitrosalicylic acid method is a simple sensitive and adaptable during the large number of sample at a time. First of all, we will discuss the how to make DNS reagent. We take 500 uh, milligram uh, of uh, DNS and add 5 ml of 5 molar NaOH. That uh, and after that uh, we uh, make the volume up to and uh, 0.3 ml of phenol also added and make the volume up to 40 ml and uh, this is our DNS reagent and after that we uh, add the 2 ml of uh, this uh, DNS reagent sorry uh, test solution to the 1 ml of DNS re uh, reagent we um, <coughs> look for the brown color in all test tube so here is a um, test tube showing the brown color of complex now next is observation the all sugars give this test that is brown color the monosaccharide disaccharide oligosaccharide and polysaccharide all sugars gives this test okay thank you